I am now live. Good morning, good morning. Hopefully I got this right. It says I'm live. Oh, there we go. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. Can you hear me all right? Thumbs up. Morning, Charlie. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Heather. Thank you so much for joining with me today. Yep, you can hear me. Good morning, David. So I will get distracted by the chat if I keep looking at it. We got to get rolling. Thanks, Charlie, for the thumbs up. Good morning, Kelly. Um, hello, my name is Eric, and welcome to day 10 of the 21 Days of Prayer. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, I am so honored and blessed to be a part of this um, 21 Days of Prayer with you guys and spend the morning with you. Um, we are on day 10, uh, and today is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Um, if you have just joining us uh, with the 21 days of prayer uh, in the morning, we've done seven days of kind of kicking some bad habits, um, kicking out some of the bad, out with the bad, and then seven days of uh, with the Lord, uh, going down some of the different names of, uh, of God, and then uh, seven days will be in with the new, some new habits, some new, um, some new trends. So uh, it's been absolutely fun so far. I've enjoyed every single day. Um, but again, thank you so much uh, for joining this morning. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, the verse for today is found in Second Corinthians, and it says, "And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency." in all things at all times you may abound in every good work so um this morning i did a word study on that word all uh to see what um the word all means i broke out my strong concordance and it turns out in the hebrew the word all means all every that god wants to take care of us and abound in all things which uh, all means all it's just amazing Whenever you study uh, the Bible or whenever I study the Bible and um, find uh, new things, there's something, a trend called um, uh, the first mention, um, the rule of first mention. So Jehovah Jireh, first mention, is actually found in Genesis uh, chapter 22. And most of you guys know the story. It's about Abraham uh, and Isaac. And Abraham was called the father of many nations by God. And he didn't have any kids and he was really old. And him and his wife tried and tried and tried to have kids. He even had a stepkid. Um, but finally, God provided uh, Abraham with the son, uh, Isaac. And in Genesis uh, 22, God actually told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, which for any parent out there, um, seeing your son, you know, this is the only thing you have one of, your one, your one son that you have. Um, which we know later on it was a test, but uh, Abraham was, you know, took Isaac up a mountain and, uh, and uh, on the way up, Isaac realized that there wasn't um, a sacrifice. There wasn't a ram or anything. And uh, uh, he asked Abraham, where is the sacrifice? What are we, where's the animal? And uh, Abraham said, the Lord will provide. And they went a little bit farther up uh, the mountain and, uh, Abraham tied up Isaac and laid him on the table. And in Genesis 22, starting with verse 11, it says, um, But the angel of the Lord called to him uh, from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son for me. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked and behold behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by his horns and abraham went and looked and took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering instead of his son so abraham called the name of the place the lord will provide jehovah jireh as it says to that day on this mount the lord it shall the lord shall provide so on that place uh, on that mountain, uh, Abraham called the place and called, gave God another name, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide, which 
God is so poetic and God is so amazing that this mountain, thousands of years later, um, well, first it became the place where Solomon built the temple. Um, and then later it's where Ezra and Haggai rebuilt the temple. And then years after that, it's where Jesus, God's only son, on that same mountain was sacrificed for us. God provided a way out for us on that same mountain that he provided a way for his son, for Abraham and Isaac, which is amazing and so poetic and so awesome that God provided a way way back then and still provided a way with Jesus. Um, it also was called uh, Mount Moriah, but um, the place was called and God was called at that time, the Lord will provide. And we think about the Lord will provide financially, which in, in scripture, it also talks about, you know, the grains in our finances, which is awesome. God does want to provide and God does want to be our source financially, but God's also our source for our salvation. Um, and it was our way out back then. Um, I do want to share a, a quick story. This is one of my favorite stories to tell. Um, if you're part of the men's group, you may have already heard it. Um, I, I love telling the story. I love bragging on God. Um, this is one of my favorite stories to tell. Um, way back in the day in my life, um, probably about 12, 13 years ago, me and my buddy, uh, Jeremy, we were both youth pastors, and we noticed a trend in youth ministry where not a lot of unchurched kids were coming to, uh, to church. We tried, you know, all the crazy tactics to get unchurched kids to come. And, you know, someone would bring a friend every now and again, but we really wanted to reach the ones that wouldn't step foot in church. Uh, we really wanted to reach the outskirts of Newark and um, the ones that would never, like I said, step foot in a church. So we started a music venue. Uh, we had Christian bands come in um, that the kids liked, uh, the style of music they liked. They would play their music and then they would share their testimony about uh, how God showed up in their life. And it was amazing, amazing stories came out of it. Um, some atheists became Christians and, and just a, a great ministry that we had. But the first, very first concert we had, um, we handed out some flyers and, some, and, and invited some kids and some kids showed up. It was kind of a small turnout for the first one. And me and Jeremy was outside of the venue while one of the bands was playing and we were just talking. And uh, Jeremy said, you know what would be awesome? Um, I know we handed out these flyers, but it would really be awesome if we had some real nice glossy paper to print out these flyers and 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 to hand out just something presentable, something nice um, that that we can distribute um, to the schools or whatever and put up on on telephone poles. Uh, something better than this cheap paper that we have, some real nice glossy paper. No joke, guys, <laughs> no joke. Ten minutes later, while we're still staying outside, a Honda Accord drove by. And threw out a big ream of something. It slid right to our feet, something right out of a movie. We bend over, pick it up, and it's a ream of glossy paper. And it <laughs> blew our minds that God provided. Uh, Jehovah Jireh, God provided something just as simple as glossy paper. Um, and it was amazing that it drove by in a Honda Accord. Um, the Bible does say they drove around in one accord, so it must have been an angel in one accord. That's a joke, guys. If you don't understand it, that's not for you. Just just move on. But uh, just like out of the movies, it slid right to our feet, and we picked it up. And from that moment on, whenever there was a, a trial in our life, whenever there was um, anything we were going through, uh, we pointed back to that story and just kind of our mantra, glossy paper, that... God cared about something so trivial as paper. How much more does he want to provide for us when we have, man, real, <laughs> real troubles, something not as trivial as glossy paper? But if God cared so much then, then God will provide all things, like it says in Corinthians, right? Um, and and just it was just such an amazing story where God showed up and God provided in my life, that what I can look back at it, like, you know what? I know trials and tests are difficult now, but man, God cared for me back then. So I know he cares for me now. And maybe it's like that in your life where 
there's something where you prayed and God really showed up. I just want to encourage you guys that uh, one of the names of God, like we said, is Jehovah Jireh. God does want to provide. He does want to be that uh, provision in your life. So maybe you had something small this happened where God showed up. Man, write that down. Put it in a journal. Um, that way when, when times get tough, you can look back at, at when God really showed up. Like, you know what? I know God's with me. I know God provides because he provided here. And I know he's going to provide in this situation. Um, but Jehovah Jireh, one of the names of God, the Lord will will provide. Um, I know I kept that short. I don't even know. I had some laughs. You guys got the accord joke. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let's. I want to pray for you guys. Um, and if you were encouraged by this at all, share. I, like I said, I love that glossy paper story. So share this with somebody. Um, maybe that'll encourage them. And um, But let me pray for you um, as we go. Father God, I just pray for everybody that's online now and everybody will tune in later. Uh, Father God, you are uh, Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. So Father, I just pray that you are that source in our life, that we don't lean onto what we can do, but Father God, we lean onto what you can do. Lord, we thank you for all those times in the past where you've shown up and really took care of us. And Father God, that builds our faith um, and strengthens our faith to know that as we go forward, Lord, you are that provision. You are our source that you do want to provide. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have to learn more about you um, here in these uh, 21 days of prayer. Uh, Father, I just pray that um, the people that come are encouraged, the people that show up and listen um, to learn more about you, and Lord, that just strengthen their faith. And whatever is going on in their life, Lord, just show up in the only way you know how. Uh, we love you, and we dedicate this time to you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, that's all I have, short and sweet. Uh, I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, like I said, share this, and uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow, same time. Bye.